The Mayan Empire Ancient hands built these walls. These temple cities. Time bears witness to the birth of these great stone civilizations and their inhabitants. They abandoned these cities five centuries ago. But they brought their sophisticated traditions and culture with them. The Maya are not gone. There is another more ancient society living in these tropical forests. They are social bees. And just as their wondrous architecture and honey-making have been passed from generation to generation, so has the Mayan art of beekeeping. These are the same stingless bees their ancestors tended for millennia. Melopona bichii, the royal or lady bee. Of all the kinds of bees in their world, these are the ones held sacred by the Maya. The Madrid Codex, brought to Spain from a newly conquered empire, informs us about these bees, their bee god, and the beekeepers. Melopona bichii live in tree hollows, and their honey is perhaps the best tasting in the world. A golden treasure worth protecting. This small hole is the only entrance to their nest and is defended vigilantly by a guard bee. Flight traffic is heavy today. Foragers return laden with colorful pollen and stomachs full of nectar from rainforest flowers. They are the most important pollinators of the rainforest trees. But it's what they do with pollen and nectar that is most remarkable. Inside a melipona nest, a magnificent wax architecture is revealed. Here is the bee society. Queen, workers, young bees and larvae are found here among the cells of the brood comb. Nearby are larger storage pots containing pollen or honey, the pantry of the bees. They only produce one or two liters of honey each year, making it precious to the bees and people. Before the Madrid Codex was written, these beekeepers collected and relocated the bees hollowed out homes and brought them to a more convenient location. Mayans call their beehives Hobon. They're brought to thatch roof shelters, meliponaries, tended and today harvested for honey. One of the last Mayan beekeepers removes the end plug from this hobon, revealing the fat storage pots filled with honey. The bees are frenzied by the scent of spilled honey. Rubber Africanized honey bees can't resist and swarm in to steal the honey. Here, as recently as 50 years ago, beekeeping traditions were healthy with grand ceremonies honoring the bees and offerings to Amus in Cobb. Today, it's difficult to find a village with the beekeepers still managing stingless bees. After surviving more than two millennia, Mayan culture is now threatened. In our time, as aging beekeepers die, 
without passing along their skills. Young adults have left to work in tourist cities along the coast. Parasitic flies attack colonies, while beekeeping skills are rapidly lost. Flowering plants are less abundant, and Africanized honeybees are managed commercially by the thousands, leaving few resources for the native stingless bees. Despite their deep history, the survival of one of the last remnants of ancient Mayan culture has fallen to this generation, here and now. In a few places, young and old come together, speaking about bees in their native language. The role of melipona honey as food and as powerful medicine is remembered as treasured knowledge. A few classes and workshops are teaching Mayan traditions and the ancient bee craft. New meliponaries are appearing in a few remote villages. The beekeeping message seems to be spreading. But if they aren't careful, we may all soon find out whether the bees outlast their keepers. Thank you.